good. Nice to have you. We are still on advancing in our mission. Operation Tutu Help for people of Africa through the power of knowledge. It is quite evident that what we are doing is working. Majority of people are coming out from ignorance they've acquired over the years. And it is a testimony in the right direction, an indication that somebody may have a challenge and somebody else can say, hey, this thing you are passing through could be this. Not telling the person it's a demon and all those kind of stuff. So in today's edition, we're going to look at the latest innovation, things that are available to us. Because majority of us don't know there are solutions to some of these things. And because you don't know that there's a solution, you'll be in position to be listening to all manner of things. Let us today start from the known. Before we go to this, our so-called enemies. That is unfortunate that in our society today, our religious approach has been able to multiply enmity among us as people while attempting to worship a peaceful God. I don't know how these things came about. But God said, my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. But through knowledge shall the just one be delivered. And this Joshua, I encourage you, call on everyone you know. This particular program now will show you what you never imagined happening in the world. I will show you something today. Call them, call them your friend. And those who may be thinking that their problem is unknown or known, I will show you the unknown today. Do it right now. I'll be right back. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye. Welcome back. You are still on You and Your Health, a program sponsored by Dr. Save a Life Foundation. I remain your friend, Dr. Richard Okoye. And today's edition will be very revealing. The one I use the word revealing in the sense that we are going to see some of the things available. Most of us don't know it is. And that's why we can fall victim of all manner of trash all manner of manipulative thoughts concerning that health problem. And we start for me to show you something that when people tend to have a problem that has to do with the heart, it seems as if the world had ended. All right? Can you have a look at this young man? This young man you are seeing here happened to have what is called cardiomyopathy. The heart packed up and was removed. This young man you see does not have pulse. This thing they used to check whether somebody is still living or not. He doesn't have any pulse at all. How does he actually be this active? This young man is living with artificial heart. These batteries you are seeing is what keep this young man living. And you see him more active than most of us had been. This is some of the things, otherwise most of our people in the heart-related challenge by now are all in the grave. We must have clear some setters and demons and the people we thought be responsible. But the bottom line remains that majority of these people in this line of thought ended up in the grave. Which means that we say need for rethinking. Now, I'll show you one more thing. That in a number of occasions, when people have leg swelling, they tell me to be something that has a much poison or somebody in your office and all those kind of stuff. I tell you, anytime you see a person having leg swelling and that leg swelling persists and you press that very leg, it goes in on what is called pitting edema. It's most likely to have a problem that has to do with the heart not being able to be performing well or a problem with the kidney. And you see the person, he will do a little thing, he gets so tired. And he may have other issues of hypertension and all the rest. So it's important that when you see someone like this, it's a problem of health. Okay? But are there things available to help people like this? Yes. Number one is that it can hear, of course, you recently hear some people slumped and died and all manner of things. Is becoming so rampant in our society, very rampant today, that something needs to be done and be done urgently, urgently, urgently in the sense that being able to develop an emergency response. We are working out, Dr. Save Life Foundation is working that out 
We can partner to be in position to secure your facility, occasions and all that. People falling in and dying, a CPR can be done and also the need for defibrillator, which is hanging. Look at this young man, you remember the case? The case of Harrison. He had this. Attention was given. Harrison is still playing football. We are our own people, all in the game. And it will be that either the player that wanted to take his position and all that. That is how we have ended a number of things, ranging from Oparaji and all the rest. Till date, a number of them have been happening. Now, a situation where somebody collapses or somebody is having chest pain, that chest pain could result from the problem that has to do with the heart. It may be a problem of heart attack. There may be a blockage of the heart vessel like this. When such happy this person will feel the chest pains of a fainting attack and all the other symptoms of it. You know what? This man you are seeing here is maybe called the luckiest Nigerian living. Three of his heart vessels were blocked. He couldn't do a little thing. He's panting. He can't climb the staircase. He's having continual chest pain. And he had what is called angiogram that revealed that and later had angioplasty. Today, he's back to his business. He moves around, climbs the case at ease. Why? Because today, with the aid of this very facility called Cat Lab, this Cat Lab is a kind of a theater that manages the issue of heart. All right. So, that is what you can see today. It is happening in our time, in our environment, but not known to many. Now, when a person is having what is called bradycardia or the heart has failed, when somebody is having heart failure, at that point, the heartbeat is very, very low. No more for human being should be able to have a pulse rate between 60 and 100. But sometimes, because of the heart, this person will not be able to do anything again so tired. That person can see benefit from what is called pacemaker. A pacemaker can be planted under the skin and this person's heart can be in position to be working normal again. It is happening in our time. It is important we know some of these things because that is the reason why you see many people falling victims of all kinds of manipulations. Your problem is spiritual. If you go to hospital, you will die. No. A lot of things have been done in our own time. In our society today, we have been able to know much about the letters in cars, letters in this, letters in all that. But when we come to our health, we turn to prayers. When it comes to our health, we turn to going native, drinking all manner of things. When it goes with our health, but you can buy private jets, you can buy this, you can buy this. Ignorance is the mother of personal destruction, as I always say. And today we are looking at some of the things available. Obesity, today, I can tell you, is the mother of most chronic illnesses. When you talk about obesity, say, yes, you exercise, you should be able to do that. And please, if that is still within your reach, do it with everything you can. For people that say, no, I don't want to do this, I know that. Have you ever seen a 70 years mobility obese person? They hardly reach there. I'm not exaggerating. They hardly reach there because of a lot of complexities. Other medical problems they will attract. In worst case scenario, today you can do what is called sleeve gastrectomy. This lady you are seeing was once weighing 230 kg. 200 and 30 kg. But she is the one today weighing 90 kg. She was once hypertensive, diabetes during that time. But right now, both sugar and BP under control. It is life, it is not death. This procedure is done laparoscopically. You don't even need to tear the body open. It is something that can be done today and is available in our time. Today, a kidney problem has been so common in our environment. But do you know what? It is not their sentence. Not at all. But because people are not aware, they turn up that somebody after them is responsible. That's where I'm coming. But get to know, this man you are seeing here has lived, in fact, he broke a record 
of being the man that has lived without kidney functioning over 40 years. He has been on dialysis for 40 years. For good 40 years. He can see, he can see vibrating with life. A number of our people right now somewhere waiting for when they will die. Waiting for when they will die. Even those that have money to sustain themselves, the mentality, the poisoned mentality will not allow them. I tell you, say it's the enemy. One had money even to do kidney transplant. It was being prayed upon that the enemy that is responsible, God didn't come on time, he died. And later the children had to use five point something million naira to bury him as of 2012. Ignorance is a killer. You can do kidney transplant today and be in position to go back to work. Who said that the solution is not available? It's available. Now it will be. Where is the money? Let it be that we all admit that what we are passing through is because there is no money. We tell God the truth. Instead of using a demon, this attack, an attack, I don't know who is benefiting from this, but it's not benefiting our country our, the life expectancy of Nigeria in 54 years ought not to be mentioned. But all this kind of ignorance is multiplying it every day. It will end in our time through the power of knowledge. That's why whatever you get now, begin to share it to everyone you know. Begin to share it. If somebody tells you, don't go to the hospital, their problem is spiritual. Something is behind it. Is either this person is as ignorant as you are, no matter what he's quoting, or that he want to either prove I'm the one who pray for you and this thing happen, don't go anywhere. Or he's actually manipulating you not to go and know what is happening to you so that your eyes will be open. Either of this, no more time. So don't go to hospital. You don't have faith. You don't have faith. Don't go to hospital. He said you pray and did not receive because you pray at a point. If a doctor makes a wrong diagnosis, it's most likely to treat wrongly. And of course, the outcome will be disastrous. We must start from the known. Even your medical information should be able to help you and help your testimony. You hear some people share testimony. If you are intelligent enough, you can see what kind of what class of people are seated here hearing this kind of a thing. It is important that we get we start from the known. When we get to the other side, we can share the right testimony. What we are doing today is to open your eyes to know majority of the things our people are passing through and dying in the name of God and God, in the name of all manner of enmity, I tell you, the solutions are available. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye. Welcome back. You are still on you and your health, and today we are trying to engage our people, getting to know what is happening in our own time. It's unfortunate in this side of the world we embrace technology. We buy latest cars, we talk about them, the latest appliances, we talk about them, we buy phones and all kind of things. And interestingly, when we buy them, we get to the church, we shout hallelujah. And people will be researching, oh, I just bought my private jet and all that. But when it comes to our health that will enjoy those things we bought, we go native. We go local. We say that our grandfathers used to drink this type of thing. We say that, no, the problem is uh, you don't need to go to hospital. Your body, your body is a spirit. Therefore, people will now be drinking olive oil. Drinking all manner of things in the name. But when you have your car and your car is not doing well, you rush and go and bypass and fix it. Sometimes I, I can't understand who must have led us to this level of derogatory state that this is as if we can't think. You spend money on every other thing, you borrow to do them, but when it comes to your own health, you pray. He says, it's not your portion. Back to send that. And somebody will say, don't go to hospital. Your problem is spiritual. Your problem is a spiritual problem. You shouldn't take care of your health. That wickedness should end in our time. And today we are revealing a number of things happening. Today in our time, 
One of the greatest crises we have in marriage, as a matter of fact, it's not like what is obtainable in Western world where people divorce for any flimsy excuse. It doesn't happen in our time. We are family lovers. All right? But the greatest challenge and what makes intruders into most marriages centers on the issue of infertility. And most families are passing through this. And most painfully, in the course of doing this, they mobilize all manner of enmity. And that's why I'm asking and saying, why is it in Africa that we have been able to make more enemies through our religion while worshipping a God of peace? Something is going wrong. Why have we mobilized more enmity in our neighborhood? Why? We can't have any trust again simply because somebody is after you and somebody tied your womb or somebody did this other one. Can't we be in position to reason? And the only way I can call on your reasoning for you to understand, this woman you are seeing here happened to be at the age of 62 years. Menopause had already set in. Of course, you can understand that. But the womb was revived. Menses was meant to come back again. Upon which IVF, the ICSI procedure, was done on this very woman. And she delivered triplet, two boys and a girl. Two boys and a girl. Now, who did? God provided this in our time in order to quell some of these very crises. But some people will say, no, your problem is your enemy. Go and watch all the people that have been talking about somebody tie my womb, somebody this one, somebody say I womb normal, somebody that will have low spend count. Somebody that will have low spend count. You will say that somebody tired. Yes, he tired brokers. That's what it implies. But the truth of the matter is that go and check all those people they told that kind of story. Most of them died without a child. Most of them divorced. You cannot allow yourself to come even to this age. This particular age is not all that a testimony as it were. But you should be able to start early to know there are solutions. You can do follicular tracking with time intercourse. You can do IUI, intrauterine insemination. You can do IVF. You can do ICSI. So many solutions available in our time. Don't go and scatter your marriage because of ignorance. Your mom, your wife is a witch. Your mother-in-law is a witch. How long can we remain in such a dark world? Now, if you look at this, this man you are seeing, of course, some of you may have seen him. You see this man, look at the leg how it was before. After doing what is called painless and minimal knee replacement surgery. Have a look at him. You can also see this other woman not able to walk because of her writing. She's dancing. In our time, this is available. Can't we be in position to understand that it is time we start thinking from the known before we go to the unknown? Today you could be in position to have gold bladder stone that used to be here, or a gold bladder stone that used to be here, that can be taken off without tearing the body open. Originally, you have to tear from here down, but today is no longer the case. You could be in position to take it off, same is applicable to kidney stones, you can be in position to have what is called laser nephrolithotomy. That can be done in our own time. And somebody will have the tormenting in pain and dying and looking for who to accuse. Did you know that most of the cancers can be identified early? Just on a routine check. You can do colonoscopy and can pick up from colonoscopy, you can pick up a polyp like this. Or you can even pick up a, a cancer that is actually growing at the early stage of a fluid. And when such happens, end to end anastomosis, a distance away from the tumor, can cure that very cancer. Today, prostate enlargement is one hour 30 minutes procedure without tearing the body open, doing what is called laser prostatectomy. These things are available. I'm telling you that if somebody has something like pile, you know, hemorrhoid, or the one that used to have discharge pores that I call anorectal fistula, 
Today you have what is called laser, laser, hemorrhagectomy. Within 10 minutes, somebody can walk from office, come to the hospital, and get this procedure done, and still go back to the house. You can see it this way, and this is the new look. It's absolutely possible, absolutely happening in our time. Of course, having reviewed this, I still have one question to myself. And that very question I know, before you ask it, does it mean that Dr. Koye is not saying there's no spiritual problem? Or does it mean that Dr. Koye is not saying that there's no need for expression of faith? Stay tuned. When I come back, I will tell you where we all got it wrong. You and your health with Dr. Richard Okoye. Welcome back. Today, we're able to unveil few. I will say there are so many things in our time not available in the medical treatment of our people but most of us are not aware of it and it's become necessary to expose this kind of a thing to us to help our judgment to help us people to reason when people talk to us on certain issue you try to reason alongside you get me and because of what of our time some people will say dr Koy, do you do believe in prayer don't you believe that some spirits can be responsible for this yes but i'm here to tell you in line with God's word in the book of Mark 10, verse 27, he said, With men, this could be impossible, but not with God. But with God, all things are possible. Okay? That also implies that with men, there are certain things that are made possible today. At least all these ones you see, they are available. There are things that are available. However, in a situation where there is nothing anybody could do, like in the case of stage 4 cancer that are metastasized everywhere, at that point you can call upon God and say, I'm the God of all flesh. There's nothing is impossible for me to do. He can intervene where the effort of man ends. So it becomes imperative that we start from the known. That is the summary of this. Start from the known. Get a knowledge by reason of medical diagnosis what your problem is. Even when God intervenes at the long run where they say nothing can be done, you can bring the paper before and after. Before I was having this, God intervened and did. That is the true testimony. Not just coming and just say, I praise the Lord, something was, was in my tummy. And as, as man of God prayed, the thing disappeared. What would it be that? It will leave people with a lot of confusion. He said, bring forth your strong reason why you should be justified. So I pray to everyone today, with knowledge you have gotten, share to everyone you know, let us start from the known before we go to the unknown. Go for routine health check. Anything identified early can be cured, including cancer. That's what you'll be able to take today. And I want to appreciate each one of you. Share this as we build a healthy society together. Share the knowledge you got today. You can go to our YouTube channel or Facebook channel. You can also be in position to get full version of this. Share to everyone you know. Together, we can build a healthy society. Remain strong and healthy as we see again. Join Doctors Save a Life Foundation. Support Vision 2025, 70 years life expectancy. Doctor Save a Life app. Make you enter inside your phone. Make you download Doctor Save a Life app. Mother, mother, tears. Oh yeah, hello. Go, go, go. Go now. Doctor Save a Life.